Oh, let me take this off since he's thankfully two meters away and wearing his mask. So over the last few days, we've been working to like really improve the core of the game and like working on all the core systems. We're improving most of the stuff, stuff we can't really show, but we can update a bunch of what's been going on since we arrived at the office. Two great things. We had a huge five meter banner put on the outside of the building, which our neighbors downstairs were good enough to allow us to do. Exciting! We have all the meeting rooms uh, labeled with like cities from the actual in-game world. And we have, you can see, like Rin and Abram on like giant cutouts uh, plastered all over the meeting rooms. COVID sadly struck again. So the office is kind of empty these days. And we are only about 11 people that are showing up uh, just because COVID is scary. The plan is that Iceland should be completely done with all that stuff in July, so let's see. We went to look at the beautiful new volcano that just started erupting with a really nice, peaceful eruption, whatever that means. All right, so we have arrived at the new volcano in Iceland. And we're here to basically get references because we might be using lava in the game. So uh, the three of us went here and we're basically taking a lot of reference photos and just enjoying this amazing view. Just chilling, watching a natural disaster, <laughs> eating lunch, having fun. I got it up. But to some dev stuff, so Helga is a sound designer, is going to show us uh, one of her like systems that she's been working on. So, so yeah, it's a bird sound system. So Helga, you want to make it to birds? Yeah, let's look at my birds. Here it goes. So this looks a bit complicated, but it's actually quite simple. We do this by singling out a lot of bird calls, uh, categorize them, you know, based on what kind of sounds it is. And then we just randomize it a lot using some modulations and delay. So this allows us to have, for example, this kind of bird running in the background or in the environment for a really long time while using maybe just 30 seconds of actual sound files. So this is important, for example, if a player is spending maybe 10 minutes in the place, if you have a 30 second loop, it's going to get very repetitive and annoying. So this saves a lot of space you know, in the project budget, so we don't have like 100 gigabytes of sound files in the game. It randomizes almost indefinitely. These are some birds. Um, and in the game, you might hear it layered with some ambience, something, something like this. It's either a wind or a waterfall, I'm not quite sure. Whatever you see, that's probably just what it's gonna sound like. We can do this as well with not only birds, but with the sea as well. So I do this by layering uh, two loops at uh, different lengths. Um, and then I have individual waves as well, randomizing uh, with some modulation and delay. And this is where we have infinite sea. You can run this for an hour and you won't, probably won't get bored. So this is very useful as well because you know, if you're hearing the same waves over and over again the same way, it's going to get repetitive and boring. So we don't have to have a 10 minute long loop of C. This is my favorite. It sounds like a lot of birds, but it's just like a few birds. I think it's probably like 20 seconds of sounds of just individual. Oh, bird calls, basically. And then if you combine this with uh, the C sound, you got seabirds and the C, and it's just endless. That's so cool. I know, right? Sometimes I just listen to this when I'm writing and doing other stuff. I feel like I'm at the beach. It's actually just practical 
because we can't put just under the monster sounds in the engine, but and it look, it's actually quite simple, but it makes me look like I'm doing something very difficult and very cool. Which I am, my job is very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're launching a new website accompanying the move to this new office. And so our hiring section should be up and running, hopefully, when this vlog goes out or like in the accompanying week. So that should work. And it has a listing of what opportunities we have open. Later, we'll add a different website for the game uh, when that's ready. So that might be sometime in the future.